So in a previous video, I talked about what syntactic entailment is. I also talked about what a proof is. Again, and in previous videos, I also talked about how to set up the proof. In addition, in previous videos, I talked a little bit about what the deductive apparatus is. In short, this is just a, a list or a set of rules of inference, rules of reasoning, or what we'll call derivation rules. But we don't have any kind of rules formulated yet for this deductive apparatus. The deductive apparatus is defined as a set of rules of reasoning that allow you to kind of take steps into proof, but we don't have any of these rules formulated. So this video will give the first step in talking generally about some of these rules. So remember, just to kind of refresh your mind just once again, the deductive apparatus is just a set of rules that allow us to write new well-formed formulas in a proof. If we're already given a set of premises or reasons to work with, and we know what we want to prove as the conclusion, the deductive apparatus just lets us take steps to move towards that conclusion. And to put it really shortly, the deductive apparatus are just the rules of reasoning that take us from the premises to the conclusion. The particular type of deductive apparatus we'll develop here, it really kind of is closely related to how people reason in everyday life. Namely, we'll make use of rules that people employ that correspond to deductively valid forms of reasoning. And we could come up with another deductive apparatus that has a fewer rules or rules that don't really correspond to how people reason. But the one we'll make use of here is called natural deduction. It corresponds to how people naturally reason in a logically correct way. We'll abbreviate this deductive apparatus as a whole. We're using PD. And the, we'll call the particular rules in the deductive apparatus as PD, the derivation rules. Just to make one kind of clarification or categorization of the deductive apparatus that we'll develop as a whole, the particular type of natural deductive system that we'll articulate. This natural deductive system initially will consist of two main types of rules. The first are introduction rules. These rules introduce into the proof a certain type of proposition or a certain type of well-formed formula. So there'll be introduction rules corresponding to conjunctions. That is, these rules will allow us to derive conjunctions into the proof, as well as ones for disjunctions, biconditionals, and conditionals. There are also elimination rules. Now, elimination rules don't allow us to kind of, let's say, remove the disjunctions or conjunctions or conditionals. Instead, elimination rules reason from or from these kind of uh, different well-formed formulas. So there'll be a elimination rule for conditionals, an elimination rule for conjunctions. And so this is kind of helpful to recognize because if you get stuck at a point in the proof and you say, okay, what I really would like into the, in the proof is a conjunction. Well, then you should really look towards the conjunction introduction rules. Or if you find yourself in a proof where you are looking at a conditional, you say, hey, I'm looking at a conditional. I'm reasoning from a conditional to, let's say, some other formulas. So I'm going to look at the elimination rule because the elimination rule reasons from a conditional to other formulas.